there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we have a quick bite episode on maintenance, care and feeding of your batteries. Five tips to get the most out of your device battery. So much of the technology that we use and rely on on a day-to-day -day basis uses a battery. For me, iPhone, Apple Watch and laptop are the three big ones. But there's also lots of others like the battery in the camera that's recording this and another in the microphone. Batteries are getting smarter and the chemicals that are used to make them have changed a lot over time. And there's a lot of bad information out there that has been a hangover from some of the older battery technologies that we rarely use. Just about all of the devices that we use today have a lithium ion battery in them. There are in fact many different chemical compounds in the lithium ion battery family. Some of them look like this. They come in two main forms, the cylinder, and the pouch. These cylinders are a bit bigger than a AA battery, but are grouped together to make up batteries like this that you would see in a typical laptop. There's actually six of these batteries and a little bit of electronics inside this battery pack. And I believe it's even batteries like this grouped together in huge amounts that power many of our electric vehicles. The pouches contain a polymer gel and can be shaped into various different shapes to suit the device that they're going in. That's all really great, but how do we get them to last longer, which is what we really want. So here we have five tips to get the most out of your lithium ion batteries. Number one, don't keep them plugged in all the time. Batteries need exercise, just like people do. Let them discharge, charge them back up again. The exercise is good for them. In fact, problems like this battery, which you might be able to see has blown up like a pillow, are generally caused by overcharging. This one had blown up so much that it actually pushed the palm rest out of the laptop that it was in, on top of the fact that the battery itself basically held no charge at all. Tip two, partial charge. Avoid deep cycling. Deep cycling is when you have a battery and run it from fully charged at 100% all the way down to zero and then charge it back to full again. That's one cycle. It has its uses, but it's not ideal for everyday charging. Ideally, the chemicals work best when they're charged between 40 and 70%. So don't hesitate to charge your phone many times a day if you find it's running flat. That won't kill a lithium ion battery. It may have with the older NICAD technologies or even nickel metal hydride, but lithium ion batteries don't have that same problem and love to operate in the middle. Tip three, when you feel like your battery percentage isn't reading quite right, then it's time for a deep cycle. You know how it is. Your phone seems to last longer on the last 1% than it did on the 20% prior to that. That's the time for a deep cycle. Charge your device fully, then let it run down completely until it turns itself off and then fully charge it again. This will help to recalibrate the electronics in the battery to know where the maximum and the minimum are accurately. Doing this several times over will really help every now and again. Tip four, temperature. Lithium ion batteries, just like me, like about 25 degrees Celsius, but they really don't like the extremes, especially when charging. Try and make sure your batteries stay above zero degrees Celsius and under 40 degrees Celsius. Tip number five, and this applies to all batteries, not just lithium ion batteries, and that is recycle. There are some nasty chemicals in batteries that we don't want thrown into landfill and then seeping out into the water table. That's bad. Much of the contents of a battery can actually be recycled. And if you take them to a local like department store, lots of places offer battery recycling. Here in Australia, Bunnings, Officeworks and Aldi all have battery collection points in just about all of their stores. Many of them just look like a giant battery standing off to the side in the foyer. Ask someone if you can't find it. Finally, a shout out to the team from Better Batteries at betterbat.com.au. That's where I buy all of my replacement batteries and they have absolutely fantastic customer service. They also supplied several of the tips included in this video, so their mailing list is worth signing up for. They really care about batteries and about customer service. So head over to betterbat.com.au or follow the link up here on YouTube. Question of the day. 
Do you have battery issues? Did you learn anything from this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. And please give the video a thumbs up if it was useful to you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're on YouTube, there's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And there's a link over here to subscribe to the channel and then click on the bell to be notified of any new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.